Hey everybody, Zenithic here. Uh, this is, today I'm going to show you a video on how to make a simple clock in Portal 2. Uh, they just came out with a new level editor, I don't recall the name, uh, PSI or something. Um, and one of the troubles I've found so far is there's no way to make looping clocks, like platforms going up and down and, you know, continuously looping. Maybe there is, but I haven't found it. So, um, hopefully this video is useful. I'm going to show you how to make a clock that basically can turn something on and off, on and off, over and over again. Uh, extremely reliable, there's no you know, glitchiness to it. So uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Here we go. So right here you can see what it's doing. It all relies on blocking off lasers that are coming from here, going into here. And it just switches all these. I'm just using these as demonstrations for what you could make. But it's very reliable. Um, I'm not sure of a way you can make a loop, but I assume if you continue this pattern down, if I, if I extend this room more and extend see the pattern, I could connect it back onto this and so forth. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how it works. Let's go back to the editor. Uh, so you can see it's a very basic design. You just set your um, moving thing on the ceiling, uh, extend it for however far you want, and continue the pattern like so. Uh, the reason I created this, or I needed it, is because I wanted to make something over here where the player would have to kind of jump from platform to platform and try and make it all the way across, something like that. So, yeah. Um, hopefully you find this useful. Hopefully I haven't missed something that allows you to uh, make it, you know, turn on and off easily. I couldn't find anything over here. None of the button properties have something like that. So, uh, yeah, hopefully this works for you. Um, I don't... I think... Uh, just to clarify... So this, with this design, I started off originally with this um, horizontally, like as if like one of these things, uh, with a cube on top of it. And this would move, and the cube would be on top, and it would hit lasers and redirect it into different um, receivers. Uh, don't do that. It's really, really unreliable, and eventually the um, the cube is not a static object on the thing on this moving platform. It has you know slideability, and it will it'll eventually get to a point where it will no longer be hitting the targets you want, or at least it'll be, you know, nicking them for a very, very short amount of time. So this is reliable, um, and the nice thing about it, I think, is I believe if I were to connect, here, let's try this actually. So this is connected now to both of this. I, both of, these are both now connected to this switching platform. I believe if this were to run along both, it would keep it open the whole time. So if you want to extend the pulse on one of these things, you would just create a longer amount in between um, a, a longer amount of receivers going into the same object. This is a little um, unsightly for the wires that you have going here and things like that, but you know what? It's uh, I think it's a necessary cause if you want to make something like this. Hopefully, it'll a normal clock will be impl implemented soon. Um, as this is still, I almost want to call it beta. Uh, it was just released today, so yeah. Uh, Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, maybe I'll add a clip at the end here showing some practicality behind it. Alright, thanks for watching. Hey guys, Nithic here, uh, th and this is just me showing you the practical use that I was talking about earlier. Uh, you can see these coming up in order very smoothly, I think it looks really nice. Um, so it's a really, it's a really good concept, it works pretty well in my opinion. Uh, and you can see it's just the right speed for this kind of stuff. Um, you could potentially space it out farther. Obviously, this is just for my my use here. Oh, whoops! Whoa! Oh, well, yeah. That's just what happens when you get caught, you know. Uh, but yeah, let me show you how that works. So, basically, uh, we have these things all starting in the upper position. Uh, this is because as soon as the lasers back here uh, power them, power the receivers, they go down. So it's just going to be the opposite of what you would think it would be. Uh, so yeah, and then this thing just slides across back and forth, um, you know, slowly shutting off each laser in sequence, uh, which looks pretty nice. This, the speed of it is just right for your player to do that kind of thing. If you wanted it to go faster, you'd probably need multiple clocks. Um, I don't know how you would stagger it, but yeah. I'll have more videos um, with more detail as I, as I learn this uh, building software? I don't know. This building program. Uh, I'll make, I'll put out some more tutorials for this kind of stuff. But yeah, so that's a very easy to make, useful clock. Um, also, if you don't know, if you hold down control over an item, you can see the little plus appears. Uh, you can drag and drop another one, so this is a very fast way of making this kind of stuff. 
So uh, hopefully that helps you a lot. Um, go make some good maps, guys. All right, see you later.